Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets and I'm Amanda. Today is July the 2nd, 2021 and I am here today to do my week one budget projection for the month of July. Can I believe it? But we are seven months into 2021. I was just talking the other day and, you know, kind of thinking back through that, um, you know, we have been in this situation for well over a year and a half, actually. And um, it almost feels like yesterday I was doing videos and I was saying it's July of 2020. But yeah, um, time is moving. It's moving fast. So we have to try and stay with it. So today we're here to do the week one budget projection and typically in my week one, I'm sorry, in my budget projections in general, I talk about what I plan on doing with my pay for this, for, for today. But typically it's for the entire week span because I do get paid weekly and um, I just budget out my money for that entire week. And typically I do a budget every single week because things, items, expenses, whatever, they change week to week in my budget. And I just like, you know, being able to look at my money and um, analyze my monies on a weekly basis. But there are actually some of my accounts that I do check daily. I'm a numbers girl. I love to, you know, calculate. Um, I majored in math in college, so I, I just love numbers. So I am going to forever be looking at my numbers, especially because it's my finance. And I, um, you know, we all do need, you know, some form of monies to be able to survive here on this earth. So that's where we are. And for those who are new to my channel, welcome. And those who are old, welcome back. I talk about um, any type of finance topics. I typically do my budget every week. I typically do a budget recap every week. And I also have cozy chair conversations where I kind of talk about whatever I want in my lounging chair in my bedroom on Wednesdays or Thursdays somewhere in that that time frame but if you are interested in this sort of content then please stick around for the remainder of this video all right everyone we are back and as you can see i have my tablet in front of us and we're going to go on and dive right into this video i am going to bring you along as I actually write out all of my numbers this week. Haven't done it this way in a while, but I felt I wanted to do that. So that's where we are. All right. As you can see, we're doing week one budget projection for July the 2nd, 2021. Today is Friday, July the 2nd, 2021. It's payday. So we're going to write out what we plan to do with this money for this week. My two inspirational thoughts today are one thing that is constant is change so if you don't understand know or have experienced anything else in life that is one thing that you should have experienced but now things change people change circumstances change everything changes so you need to know that so that you can be prepared for things like that also my other inspirational thought is that sometimes you have to force yourself, okay? Life is not always peachy creamy. You know, everything isn't just going to be dropped in your lap that's all um, good and, and easy and that kind of thing. You have to force yourself, just like with this budget plan. You have to force yourself to do your budget. You have to force yourself to not overspend. You have to force yourself to eat right, to work out, to whatever you want to do that's going to be productive in your life. It may not be easy to do those tasks. So sometimes you have to force yourself. Just know that. 
All right, let's dive right in so we can try and keep this video short. Um, this week, we do have a few things that are, I mean, for the most part, everything is remaining the same. I'm going to angle this tablet so that I can write. But um, there are just a few slight changes, so let's dive right in. The first item up on the docket is my mortgage. So, this week, I will be setting aside $268. I typically pay my mortgage on the second week. I know the mortgage is always due the first of the month, but... It, the way I have my money set out and my budget flowing, the second week is the best week for me. And that also allowed for me not to be late on my mortgage as well. So that has just worked out over the years for me. All right, mortgage 268. The water bill is $98. These are um, my average numbers that I set aside each month for, or week for these um, debts and expenses. The phone and internet. That's probably going to change. Not probably, but it will change. Um, $269, uh, $239. Now I'll come back to show you how that's going to change. Auto insurance is a $73. Student loan, still not making any payments on that. It's in deferment until October. $100, but I do still set the monthly payments aside because I am thinking that I am going to make a lump sum payment um, on that debt once it's it becomes due. Right now, I'm just focusing on paying off my paying down my mortgage quickly since it is the only debt that I have right now that's still accruing interest. Why not? It makes more sense for me. I know a lot of people, hey, pay your consumer debt off first. No, that is not what I plan to do or how I plan to do it at this moment. And like I always say, that's why finances are personal. So you get to do them however you want to. My daughter's car fund, $21. I typically put monies aside for her. Um, you know, for oil changes, gas per week, and that kind of thing. The debt amount or debt monies that I get to set aside this week is $304. And like I said, I am focusing on paying on my mortgage. So that is where that money will go this week. That extra money will go toward the principal of the mortgage. Next, we have our household expenses. This is cash that I pull out of my checking account every single week for categories that range anywhere from uh, groceries to toiletries to haircuts, school supplies, pet supplies, whatever the kind of day-to-day -day things that I do. I pull that out in cash. I don't care to keep using my debit card over and over and over because you can get swipe happy and I don't want to do that and overrun my budget. Okay, the children's savings accounts. $28.50. I put a little money aside each week into their savings accounts. Then we have the HOA fees. I pay my HOA quarterly, but I set aside $6.70 out of each paycheck to make sure that I have that money there when it's time to make that payment. And last but not least is the... Um, cushion that I love to leave in this account. Don't like to leave account totally dry, so I leave a little monies in there just in case I want to go grab something that's not projected in the budget or, you know, there will always be monies in that account um, unless I spend them. If you saw my video yesterday, uh, yeah, the cushion money got really low because I did a lot of spending last week. So if you want to know what all I spent my money on last week, go back and check out the previous video right before this one. All right, let's see. That's all we have. So we got a total this week that's actually coming in at $1,358.35. That's what we have for this week's um, expenses. So... I typically leave $1,228 in this account every single week to satisfy any expenses and debts. That amount covers me every week. So, 
if I'm leaving the 1228 in there and my total amount is 1358.35, then we're gonna have to subtract those two numbers. Let's do that now. 1358.35 minus the 1228 should leave me with a balance of $130.35, okay? So I'm going to have to pull this money out of the bills savings account. And we'll make a note here. Pull out of the BSA. I just abbreviated bill savings account. And we're just doing that right here on paper. Okay. Sorry about shaking the camera. Got a lot going on around here today. But yeah, so that's what we're doing right there. So we're gonna bring out our handy dandy blue marker. So we can put a blue cloud around that number. I love colors, guys. So that's why with my budget, I always use different colors. Colors make me feel good while I'm doing my budget. All right, so that's step number one. Step number two is to go back up through these debts and when i say it pull out on paper for those that are new that means we're just moving these numbers and making calculations on this sheet this isn't going to be the very last thing that i do with my money you'll see that on the very last line so second step is to go back up through these um, expenses and put a pa which means put away in the bill savings account besides any item that I don't plan to take care of this week. And those items are going to include the mortgage, which I just said, um, the water bill we will pay, um, what else? The phone and internet will be paid this week. Of course, my daughter's car fund. Um, I'm sorry, no. All right, I'm, I'm, let me step back. I'm doing this uh, totally wrong. We're gonna X that out. Um, this phone bill is an item that's being paid this week. So, so far, the items that are not paid for this week um, is the mortgage. What else? The auto insurance. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get myself together. The student loans, like I said, we're not making payments on that until October. Now, this week, it is going to be the um, debt amount. And I'll explain that to you because remember, I'm making extra payments to my mortgage um, every single week in addition to the regular monthly payment. That's what this money here is set aside for. That regular, I think it's 803 or 804 per month is my mortgage payment. So I'll come back to that. Let's see, what else? Um, household expenses we're doing this week. Children's savings, that comes out this week, okay. The HOA fee, we're not paying that this week. So those are the items we have as it relates to what I need to put away into the bill savings account because I will not pay them this week. All right, so now, since we added in this 304, I typically have this amount already stored away, but since we added an extra amount this week um, that I can't pay toward my debt, we're gonna bring up my calculator so that we can do these numbers real quick. I'm not sure, hopefully this is in frame and you are able to see it. Um, let's add everything up, 268. I'm just adding up everything with the pink PA beside it, 73. 100, 304, and $6.70, okay? That gives us a total of $751.70, okay? So our PA amount, let's see, PA is going to be seven hundred and fifty one dollars and seventy cents that also gets a blue cloud because it is going to have a relationship or it does have a relationship with the number up above okay so let's keep everything coordinated and neat i like colors and i like organization all right so this is where we are 
So we have an amount that we need to put away and we have an amount that we need to pull out. So let's subtract the two numbers. So the 751.70 minus the $130.35 go back and find our calculator again okay we still have the 751 on the screen so let's just subtract the 13035 okay so we're going to be left with six hundred and twenty one dollars and thirty five cents all right so this particular point that's an amount that we need to put away in the bills savings account and your answer always take the action of the larger of the two numbers this largest number was a put away amount so that's what your answer is going to do you're going to put it away but that's right here on paper because we're still doing calculations all right so any numbers with the line under them get a yellow line all right stay with me guys this is a budget it is pretty lengthy and that's what budget projecting is you know you don't you don't can't rush through your numbers you got to make sure you have everything correct now we're done with that now let's go back up through these numbers and we're going to put a purple triangle beside every item that i do plan on taking care of this week so these are the numbers that are going to or expenses that are going to come out of this week's pay so there you have it the water bill, the phone and internet, move the money to my daughter's car fund, pull the household amount out in cash, automatic draft to the children's savings account, and that cushion amount just stays in the account. So that's why I just leave it as an active item that will take place every single week because I may spend some monies out of that, or I may not, it just depends. All right, so that's what we have there, okay? That's that step. Now, the next step is our water bill, I don't know what's going on with this water bill, guys. It's going up, 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 up. But anyway, this month, it is actually, the actual amount is $107. Okay? I only set aside $98 out of this week's pay. So we're going to subtract that projected amount I set aside. And... Let's see, that means that we are under or over our budget by $9, right? So this is an amount that I need to pull out of the bill savings account to help me satisfy that water bill. But of course, we're doing that right here on paper. So that's just kind of where we are. That number has a line under it, so it will get... A yellow line so it has a relationship with this number with the yellow line as well all right so that's one debt now I wanted to come back up here and talk to you about this phone and internet I've finished paying off an iPhone thank God so that is off the bill so that's gonna drop this total down by um, $20 so the actual bill this month came in at $219 Right, so if I projected 12, I mean 239, so well, we're gonna do a backwards subtracting this time since I didn't write it out that way. So we have a positive of $20, and that money can be put away in the bill savings account because we don't need it, remember. But remember, everything is taking place right here on paper. So that number or answer will also get a yellow line. So I think that's everything that I needed to calculate. That's coming. That's a move into my daughter's account. This is a, I'm going to pull that out of the account. That's auto draft and that will be left in the account. Okay, we're good. So now all these numbers with these yellow lines under them, they have a relationship. So let's journey down here to the bottom real quick so we can write out our very last line so that you can know what I'm doing with this money. So the 621.35 
that's going to be a put away number. The $20 is also a put away number, so we can add those two together real quick. Let's just do it step by step. So the $621.35 plus the $20 is going to give us a $641.35, okay? So that's our total put away amount right here on paper. Put away in the bill savings account on paper. Well, I thought this was the last line, but I forgot. We also have that $9 that we need to satisfy. So we need to pull that out of the bill savings account to help us pay the water bill. So now we got the 641, 641.35 that we need to put away, but we want to subtract the nine dollars that we need to pull out to satisfy um, the water bill. So what is that going to be? Six forty one thirty five minus nine dollars. Let's see. Use your head, girl. You said you were a math major, so that should be six thirty two thirty five. All right. And remember, your answer takes the action of the larger of the two numbers. This 641 is going to be the put away amount. Let's just put a PA here so you can see. And the $9 was the amount that we need to pull out. I'll put a PO for pull out. So as we can see, the put away amount is the larger of the two numbers. So that's what your action going to do. So I have a completed box around this number that indicates that that is actually what I'm going to do with that amount of money this week. So I'm going to put this amount away in the bills savings account to be utilized for bills in another week or another month. But this amount is so high this week, guys, because like I said, this debt amount of 304, I can't make that principal only payment because I haven't paid the regular monthly um, payment toward my mortgage for July. So they won't let me make that partial payment. But what I'm going to do is when I make the regular 804 payment next week, believe me, this money will be taken back out of the bill savings account and put as a principal only payment um, for that for, as a part of that uh, monthly payment as well. So you, you'll see the 804 for the monthly payment and you'll see the 304 for that principal only portion. So yes, they're going to get a large chunk of money from me next week, which is fine, um, you know, because that is what that money is set aside for. But that's really all I have for this video, guys. So at the end of the day, when we see if I can get this entire sheet to be in frame. At the end of the day, we have $632.35 going into the bills a savings account this week. And all other debts with or expenses with the purple triangle will be satisfied this week. I will come back to you on Thursday to let you know if all of this took place um, this upcoming, this, you know, for this upcoming week. But well, that's all I have for this video. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets, where we dream big but start small around here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your holiday. Peace.